I think last year a lot of athletes came with a very high level. He's got to move on the left hand Again. side. Oh, left hand turn. Left yes, hand. this is going to give it the I think the Xterra level took a step up. And I tried to do that also, but uh, yeah, it was it was enough for a podium at the World Champs and also the first World Cup circuit. I finished third. Representing Denmark, 491 points. Yes, Emmy A decent season, and I ended with a really good feeling that it would be possible to to step up my level and to actually beat some of the best guys in the world. Yeah, so we are here in Alsace, mm -hmm. my new home. It's uh, moved here last year at the end of the season to try something new, to move with my girlfriend, mm -hmm. Selene. Um, and it's so far, it's been really great. Yeah. And um, yeah, today we're doing one of my favorite activities here. Uh, Aller à la boulangerie. Yeah. Oui. Oui. And all the big changes, just the mountains here. Like in Denmark, we, we have good nature, but we don't have the tremendous mountain range like we have here. And that's just, mm. it's developed a lot of my training. Both my biking and my, and my running have actually taken a step up, especially for the long climbs. I thought I was effective in trail running, but now I realized after uh, two months here that I've, like my heart rate is so much more controlled now when I run uphill. Mm. Where before it was like just like. Poof. Okay. Then fan of chocolate, a bon café, and a croissant amand. And what's your favorite uh, bakery and things? And just the the gold over there. Yeah. As you can see. Yeah. What do we see in French? Uh, la baguette. La yes. baguette. La baguette. <laughs> okay. C'est bon. Ouais. It's good. Right. Yeah. And it's a historical place also mm. because it's from it's been German and it's been France, but still you can see a lot of the German history and especially from the First World War where there is a lot of trenches and and uh, war monuments and memorials. It's of course mm. very sad, but it's uh, they have uh, kept it very well. And uh, even running in the mountains very so often, then you get to a war monument in the middle of nothing. And it's it's one of my favorite things to discover it because it's uh, yeah it's just it's, so it's, it's bigger than human uh, it's bigger yeah. than little me running around in the mountains when you see like okay this was actually where they had the cannons and, and were shooting at each other and running around in shitty shoes and with big backpacks and yeah. uh, not complaining uh, so that's uh, sometimes also a bit of a motivation when I run that uh, mm. that life can be tougher than uh, being uh, a mountain runner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last session here in Alsace before traveling. I think my main goal is to win some of the races. I don't know if that's the right word, but I really want to be brilliant winning races. Like, mm. I want to really race good races against all the best guys. Arthur, Felix, the old ones, yeah, I have to be there. And I want to beat them. Let's go. The plan is to go to Taiwan now and to have you, Clément. Yeah. On the Hello, guys. trip to show a bit more what we're doing and uh, yeah, to to make it. Uh... Amen. What do we do, Jens? Tell us. <laughs> to make that we won't forget it. Ah. Everything. It's to uh, keep it forever in the box right there. <laughs> and yes. uh, I think often. Uh, in our racing and traveling, we have so much to show, mm -hmm. that, uh, and often it's just a, a number at the end, which position we ended in the race, which is actually the, the outcome of all of the travel, but I am stoked to be able to show a lot more in this travel. <laughs>